So yes, we are going to quickly uh, go through these questions which are under a geometric uh, series as we considered on the introduction where we managed to prove the formulas which are used when working with an arithmetic and also a geometric uh, series. We saw that, all right, let us just have our basic here of a geometric uh, series. So a geometric series as we had uh, the terms before, remember I talked about this uh, on a sequence, the terms were just being separated, T2, T3, and so on and so on. But this time we are having as S and adding the terms together, T1 plus T2 plus T3, and so on and so on, up to the last term. As we had before, the geometric sequence. So on a series, it is still the same thing. We also talk of the common ratio. It is not going to change, guys. The issue of the common ratio found between the terms, which is T2 divided by T1, and so on. That, that is not going to change. It is not going to, to change. It is still the same thing to note that it's a geometric. Once you note that, the sum of terms, if they are given in this manner, they can be written from a formula uh, that we said it can be A into R to the exponent of N minus 1 over R minus 1, where R cannot be equal to 1. R cannot be equal to 1. But for this formula, it is best that we use this formula if our R is greater than 1. Talking of the positive values, v values that are bigger than 1 and so on and so on, whether they are fractions, whatever that you have, but values that are bigger than 1. Or we can use the formula. All right, let's just write it uh, down here. Or we can have this uh, from Sn is equal to A into 1 minus R to the exponent of N over 1 minus R like this. This is best to be used if R is less than 1. Yes, guys, you can use any formula for any value of R that you're given. I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's best to use this if R is bigger than 1. It's best that you use this one if R is less than 1. So that is the major part of your formulas that you need for the sum of terms. But just for the revision sake, uh, under your formula sheet, this is the only formula that you're given where R is greater than 1. R cannot be equal to 1. So this is the only formula that you're given from your formula sheet. But this also can be used. Take note, 1 minus R to the exponent of N, 1 minus R. Take note. So any, everything is going to remain, guys. What we had, the nth term of a geometric a r to the exponent of n minus 1. Nothing is going to change. Everything is going to remain as it is. So let us see, guys, quickly. With these questions that we are given, we are having the first part of our question, which was to determine, this is the sum of terms. We are given two 10 terms, plus 3, plus 6, uh, on and so on and so on. Two 10 terms, meaning to say we are given the value of n. n is equal to 10. Determine this. What are we doing? We are adding addition of terms T1 plus T2 gives us sum of terms, which is arithmetic or is it a geometric? So under arithmetic, we know the common uh, difference. Let's check that one first. The common difference, 6 uh, minus, okay, let me just use this one. 6 minus 3 is going to give us a 3. Uh, 12 minus 6, you can see that, guys, this is not the same. So arithmetic series out. So meaning to say we are going to focus on the geometric. Once arithmetic series fails, uh, think of what? The geometric series where we talk of the common ratio. So let's test uh, T4. You're just going to determine uh, T2 over T1. Remember the common ratio. That's a 2. You do the same thing. 12 and 6. It was going to be 12 over 6. Uh, that's, a diff uh, that's a ratio of 2. The common ratio throughout. So we can see that there is a common ratio of 2, which makes it to be a geometric series because of the common ratio. There was a common difference. We talk of what? Arithmetic series. So guys, knowing that it's geometric, we are done because we need the sum of terms. And you can see R is equal to two. It's a number that is greater than one. I say this is the best formula that you can use. So you can simply use terms is equal to what? Remember that's A into R to the exponent of N minus one. Values sum of the first 10 terms, 10. Number of terms is 10. 
So wherever there's n, you're going to substitute with 10. So S10 is equal to A, always the first term, which is our T1. So that's 3 into R, our common ratio. That is 2, as we calculated before, to the exponent of n, the number of terms, which is 10. Remember, we said sum of 10 terms. If you just subtract 1, everything over R minus 1. Remember, our R is 2. So that's 2 minus 1. So this was going to give us the sum of the first 10 terms, guys. Just make sure that you use your calculator uh, properly. This was going to give us 3,069. So we're going to obtain uh, 3,069 as the sum of terms. It's a geometric that you're given. So you consider under geometric, what is it that I'm supposed to have, right? Then the formula, all right? So just like that, guys, substitute into the formula. There's a sum of terms. We are dealing with addition of terms. So when the terms are being added and the question is just add the terms together up to 10 terms. So it's the sum. Number two, if we are given 2 plus 6 plus 18 plus and so on and saying it is equal to 728, determine the value of n. So in this case, uh, we are given, uh, that is the terms 2 plus 6 so on and so on. If you add these terms, that is what you're given. There. When you combine these terms together, you are going this one. It represents the sum. If we add, just like what we're doing, if we're adding these, what is that you calculated? You calculated SN. So this is the one that we are given this term. They gave us the answer. When these terms are being added together, they are going to give us this. So we are given SN as 728. Then determine the value of N. And we are not even told that this is geometric series. So we have to test. Is it arithmetic? You can see that the difference is not the same. There's a difference of four. If you check here, there'll be a difference of 12. So arithmetic is totally out. So let's try geometric. Think of the common ratio. Remember, geometric common ratio, T2 over T1 or 2, that's a 3. We do the same thing, T3 divided by T2, 18 uh, over 6, and T2, T3. They can help us to find, uh, to tell, is it arithmetic or not? So you can see, because of the common ratio, that's a geometric series that we have. And this R3 is greater than 1. It is bigger than 1. So meaning to say, we can take advantage of the formula now, because we have SN which is 728. The same as a formula here. Here, we are given its numerical value that it is e into r to the exponent of n minus 1 over r minus 1. The same. Same as n. So we can take that to say, if these two are truly equal, therefore, let's save it as an equation so that we can determine the value of n. So we are simply going to form an equation, guys, to say this formula uh, which is a into r to the exponent of n, r minus 1, it is equal to sn, which is 728. Therefore, let us substitute our values a, the first term of the given uh, series, as we have our series, our t1 is there, our common matter of uh, substituting into our formula. All right, so let's substitute, guys. Remember, we said a is 2, so that is going to be 2 uh, into... So that's 2 into r to the exponent of n. Remember, r minus 1, everything over 3 minus 1. That's r minus 1. 3 minus 1 is equal to 728. And as we can see, this is under an exponent, uh, 3 to the exponent of. So these are exponents. All right. So anyways, let's see, guys. This is a product. Let's try to simplify. That's 2 into 3 to the exponent of n denominator. Uh, that's 3 minus 1, which is 2. And that's equal to 728. Instead of you to cross multiply, then you divide by these two later on. Just cancel because these two, they're on the same side. So we're left with one times these. Remembering that one times any number, that number remains as it is. So one times this, it remains as it is. Three to the exponent of n minus one is equal to uh, 728. Under your exponents, how do we solve this? We can take one, this negative one. It has nothing to do with the exponent. Three to the exponent of n is on its own. So you can take the negative one to the other side of the equation so that it can be a positive. So it will be is equal to 728 plus 1, which is 729. Remembering that under the exponents, if the bases are the same, the exponents will be the same. So 3 is in simplest form, 5, 7, like I said before, you work with the prime numbers. So 3 is a prime number already. It's already in simplest form. So we are not going to write anything on this 3. It, it, it cannot change. It will just remain as 3. The one that we are going to change is the 728, this one. We have to write it back in the base of 3, which is the simplest base that we are given. It is 3 to the exponent of what? Which exponent are we going to use there? 
So if you do not know, guys, use your calculator, try three to the exponent of one, to the exponent of two, to the exponent of three, to the exponent of four, to the exponent, and so on and so on and so on until you get 729. So you're going to see that it was going to happen on three to the exponent of a six. It is three to the exponent of a six, which gives us 729. If you know it by head, to try. Once the bases are the same, therefore, we know that the exponents automatically was going to be six. So we are talking of the six terms in that case. Six terms were added together. Six terms were being added together. This is all about the crescent. We added, there were six terms that are big to give us this sum. We do not know the terms, but we know that there are six of them, which were being combined together. So this is the formula, guys, for the sum of terms under uh, a geometric series. And with that form, sometimes they will ask you even to calculate the common. You just have to revise as many questions as you can. Remember, your grade 12, guys, is all about more revision, more question papers. So that's it till 